Hi guys, here in this video we are analyzing CSR June 2019 chemical sciences problem. Watch the video completely to get detailed conceptual analysis. Okay, right, just look at the given problem. The relationship between A and B is just observe the given two structures here. We need to find the character relationship between them. In general, so many aspirants by just looking at those two structures they will act diastereomers as a correct answer but that is absolutely wrong because uh, in their way they just see those two structures and uh, by the basic uh, fundamentals of principle uh, that means stereochemistry principles as uh, if the structure doesn't relate with any symmetry element then that should be simply considered as a diastereomer okay so based on that concept so many apt diastereomer as the correct answer but that is absolutely wrong here okay now just try to look at the carbons of the given two structures is there any chiral carbon present on it now if you look at these the two carbons and two structures we can say those two are chiral carbons because they are connected with four different groups on it okay so here ch2 here uh, that means c double bond here c uh, cc bond you can observe ch so four different connections are there on that carbon that's why we consider it as chiral carbon well so whenever we observe a chiral carbon we need to go with rs notation and by that we can find so many relations of uh, structures okay according to rs nomenclatures now just look at here let's try to give uh, priorities for the groups so if we do that here they see this double bond C give the first priority okay and second priority for this CH2 third priority for CH3 and fourth priority for hydrogen just try to give it is clockwise direction so we can say it is R now just come to the second structure where first priority for this second for this and third for this and fourth for this okay now it is simply clockwise direction we know that whenever R and R relation is there that is simply indicating homomer or simply identical yes and yes that is identical okay or homomer in relationship yeah here here also so many aspirants who are just move into depth of the subject they have a question or they have a doubt because here fourth priority hydrogen is on the plane but uh, second priority group is back side to the plane okay so in that case uh, they have a doubt is it correct or not so to get the uh, final conclusion we need to look at the double bond okay so double bond of the given two structures just observe them here we have a double bond with a thick line which containing four ones, okay right and these four carbons are simply showing that they are near to observer and they are on the plane with these three hydrogens and the methyl group okay so same we can observe on the second structure right now whenever we observe this there is the possibility of a chiral plane on the given two structures okay right and if you observe the first structure here and which is considered as a chiral plane if a molecule contains maximum number of its atom on the plane then we consider that molecule contains a chiral plane okay right now just take uh, these two structures and you can see that these two are having maximum number of atoms uh, on the chiral plane which are near to observer okay right so we can say these two structures are having chiral planes now just try to take the first one in a conventional form so to give uh, uh that means a planar that means rs notations plane rs notations okay with respect to plane we need to give rs notations yeah in that case i'm just taking the first structure here okay in a conventional form that means in a suitable form to give uh, here planar chirality on this structure okay right so here now just we need to do first thing just take all the uh, chiral atoms on the plane the next step is we need to look for 
pilot atom so here we can take this carbon as a pilot atom and you can see when I just take this so here these carbons are above the plane okay and here the double bond and other carbons are on the plane and they are just taken uh, back side to those carbons okay here all these carbons blue carbons are near to observer okay and we consider this as a uh, simply pilot atom why we need to take this as pilot atom because here we need to look for from the end where more number of substrates are present on the chiral plane we need to take that uh, from that end we need to take the pilot atom okay so here if you observe from these two from here from the right side end and from left side end from left side end extra methyl group is there okay that's why we need to take pilot atom from the left side end and the pilot atom should be uh, that means shouldn't be in a, from the plane chiral plane of the molecule it should be just adjacent to the chiral carbon okay now that means chiral plane atoms so you can see this is the adjacent to the chiral plane atoms of the given structure then we can take it as a pilot atom after finding pilot atom we just need to give the priorities of the group from the pilot atom end. So you can see first one here A and second one B and third one C. Now it is simply clockwise direction. So we can say it as R. Okay, that is plane or R. Okay, right. Now just look at the second one. Just take same structure like this and here methyl group in the place of CH3 and hydrogen in the place of uh, methyl group and here also you can do same thing and here you can get R. So according to chiral finality also they are showing R and R relation that's why we can say these two structures are homomers okay they are identical in nature right okay and if you are uh, interested to get a best online course so just visit and join the to get the guaranteed success thank you very much